beautiful souls welcome back i hope that you're good had a totally blessed solstice um and thank you for all the birthday wishes had a totally neat day um i went up to the wildlife park which is kind of in i live on the edge of the peak district so i went up into the peak district to the wildlife park there and saw lots of animals saw penguins and zebras and then got uh chased by goats which was a little bit frightening when you've got a baby in your arms um but it was really good had a really nice birthday the week before is in glastonbury uh glastonbury was super good really really fun um obviously very spiritual very enlightening um and it's kind of the pre late pre thing to my birthday so last year we went for the solstice but with uh, with little hunter i was like i'm not gonna take him into the solstice this year and not till he's a little bit older so we went uh, when it was a little bit quieter really nice catching up with friends uh doing lots of things yeah, it was really good. Um, so other news for you this week, I have spaces for email readings on Friday if you want one. Um, then, let me think, I've got a couple, one, two spaces left for a video reading, 14th of July, and then I'm back a full time August the 8th, the week starting August the 8th, and some of you are already booking places for when I do get back full time. Cannot wait to be back with you all properly. Um, I said before, we're gonna have an, a studio put in my parents' house, so I'm gonna have a studio here, and then a studio at theirs as well. Um, so you don't know where you're gonna be working from, and I need to go to my parents' house and get that studio totally sorted, because I just haven't done much of anything i just moved the jaguar there because we love the jaguar right and um and we got this beautiful artwork so i thought oh if i moved the jaguar there um but i haven't done anything else so i really need to get going on that because we haven't got long left um and that's the goss that's the goss sorry i wasn't with you last week like i said i was off celebrating in glastonbury um it was really good yeah so just a quick recap i've got spaces for email readings on friday they're quite limited because I've got a load of you to get through, plus all the video readings of everyone that's booked. So if you do want to email reading, uh, get in touch, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. Vid uh, video readings, 14th of July, um, and then back full time, August 8th. And I can't bleed in, wait to be back with you all. Um, and thank you always for your love and support. What an incredible nearly nine month we've had. Um, I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you next week. Stay blessed, stay, stay good, behave yourselves um, as best as you can. And enjoy this beautiful, beautiful sunshine. Hopefully it's kind of spread out all over the world, not just in Inglaterra. Um, it is really beautiful here. Shall I show it you quickly? I know a lot of you like to see the view of like the Peak District, if I can do it. That's my garden. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I try. I try and get it for you. Um, yeah, look at that sunshine. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful Albion. Where our ancestors tried. I thought that yesterday when I drove through the Peak District, I was like, our ancestors just used to walk, you know, it's their old land and it's so, so beautiful. All right, guys, have a totally blessed week. I will see you next week and I love you all. Ciao. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back. I hope that you've had a good week. Um, so this week, what we are doing is, are they watching your social media? And we've got two decks to pick from, to complete opposite ends of the spectrum. So you've got the Celtic Tarot, and you've also got the Victorian Romance Tarot. So complete opposite ends of the spectrum, number one, number two. As I was pulling out the decks and Spirit were clairvoyantly showing me which ones to use. Both of these are history related, going back in time. And so it was quite an interesting um, way for them to show us which decks to use so it can be a lot of history between you guys just from the, the decks that spirit have chosen okay number one number two let's go number one so duck number one as always works in the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances i'm just going to have a look going into their energy so the first thing that's coming up as i am scooping through all of your energies and pulling it all out is we have got this nervous anxiety in your stomach um you guys really aren't sure about the situation where the situation's heading what's actually going on and it gives you this very strong anxiety in your um solar plexus per se so your solar plexus is two inches above your belly button, where it's the colour yellow. Um, and it can also be to do with the bones in your body as well. Just throw that on the sideline. Um, when your solar plexus is feeling a little bit out of kilt, 
um, it can cause this anxious feelings. So your chakras are the energy points in your body and they should spin really, really slowly. And you'll often find that they become overactive or underactive, really like stuck. Um, so that anxiety is coming forward with you guys first and foremost as we're stepping into that energy. Things you can do to counteract that, uh, get some yellow crystals, um, quite a good one. Yeah, the yellow crystals. I was just trying to think which ones... Um, not calcite, um, it begins with a C and it is yellow and it's like, I can't remember its actual name, it would take me ages to find it, but any, any yellow crystals will do to help counteract that energy. Okay, so you guys are feeling a bit anxious, a little bit nervous over the situation. Is there a person watching their social media? And I'm actually just going to get three cards. I pulled out a different deck over here for you too. Is your person watching your social media too? Are they watching? So Spirit are saying there are ghosts here, like ghosts from the past. And again, this is probably why they chose, took us back to the more historic decks. Um, there are ghosts here. And when you have ghosts, as in things that have happened with you guys, you don't just suddenly forget about them, do you? You know, we all have ghosts, we all have demons in the closet. And sometimes you can think everything is okay, but still that ghost will come back and haunt you. And that is the energy that's coming up. Is there a person watching their social media? This deck is out of print now. Um, this is the answer deck and it is very blunt, it's very direct. Um, but it gives you the answers that you need. Are they watching social media too? Let me just get one more and I will talk you through everything that is happening. Okay, so the overall outcome at the moment is they will be. Okay, so if they're not doing it yet, they will be. And this is what Spirit was saying about the ghosts. So let's start at the very end and then I'm going to take you back in time. So the overall outcome of whether they're watching your your social media, eventually they will be. So you have the Knight of Pentacles over here, this dude on his beautiful dragon. He's making slow and steady movement towards you. And even though he's on a dragon and dragons are quite fast moving, this is a card of slow and steady movement. Good news happening. So the overall outcome is, yes, it will happen, but it's going to be a bit further down the line, okay? Um, you might find at the moment that they're keeping a little bit of tabs on you, but not to the extent that they're stalking you, watching you every single day. As time progresses, that is what's going to happen. Um, but it's slow, slow, slow movement. So where you are at the moment, you've got the Nine of Swords and Deception. So this is what we're talking about, ghosts. This is what we're talking about, fears, nightmares, worries, doubts, like what's actually happening. Your person is in a bit of avoidance over this at the moment. So whatever's happened between the two of you, wherever you ended up, how you ended up, your person is currently just trying to switch off from the situation, avoid it, not really do anything on it. And that's why the card of deception is coming forward, okay? They're wearing a mask over this um, and they're trying to avoid watching it. Checking up a little bit here, a little bit there, but overall trying to avoid it. With the Nine of Swords, it's because they don't want to see something that's going to trigger them. So they're avoiding the situation with you, avoiding watching social media because they do not want to see something that's going to trigger them. They are thinking it's best off to just step away from the situation, not really think about it. Um, but this is where the deception comes in. So not massively watching you at this point in time um, because they've got these worries, doubts, fears. They'll see something that they don't want to and that they're trying to avoid the situation. What's going to change the energy between your outcome over here of them definitely watching and where they are at the moment, them avoiding? The answer is forgiveness and this family unit happening. So this card over here stating the word forgiveness and then you also have the Ten of Pentacles. So the energy between these two points, point A and point C, is point B. And point B is talking about them missing you, wanting you, feeling that they need to let their barriers down over the situation. And the reason why is because of this Ten of Pentacles energy, the family unit. They can see that there is a future with you. Now, the Ten on the Pentacles stands the end of a cycle. So where it has been in this kind of deception, I'm running away from my thoughts and feelings. I'm going to be, he's, your person is going to be shifting that energy 
and it's going to come from this forgiveness okay you forgiving them and them forgiving themselves but some of you guys um the other way around as well okay so this need for forgiveness once this forgiveness happens that movement will come towards you those pentacles energy of watching your social media and um, could be as well that family are potentially involved in this family friends and um, other people you will know about that okay so if you're like what ali i don't know um that's because i won't be talking to you some of you guys family um and friends will be an influence on this and um, so it's your person taking a step back from that influence will bring this slow steady movement towards you so are they watching your social media at this moment in time, they are avoiding. They will be uh, doing a little bit here, a little bit there, um, but overall trying to avoid it at this moment because um, they don't want to see something that they don't want to see and it's easier to avoid it. Going to be a change in the energy um, and it's going to come from them feeling a missing, feeling a longing, feeling a yearning and this need for forgiveness um, and seeing that there can be a future with you. Once that happens and your person's barriers drop, they will make moves towards you. It will be slow, steady movement, but they will be watching your social media more. And that is when if you guys aren't in contact, that is when the communication will come in. That's step number one. Okay, guys, lots of love to you and I'll see you next week. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, welcome, welcome. Um, so today we are looking at if your person is watching your social media. I'm only going to be pulling three cards. Um, I said at the very start, if you picked your deck, um, that both the, the decks Spirit chose today are historical decks. They've got an older energy. So it's quite possible this person is an energy strongly from your past. Um, but equally, it can be past lives. And if you want to have a look at past life readings, give me a shout. Um, all the details are in the comments. Okay, so I'm just going to pull three cards on this deck. Is your person watching your woo, social media? This deck is just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Is your person watching your social media? Are they stalking? Do, 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 do to are they watching your social media ooh, 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 ooh. okay and i'm just going to pull this deck over here is a deck called the answer deck they're out of print now um but they're very good at telling us quite direct answers and um they're fabulous for this type of reading are they watching if you like them you might be able to get some on ebay are they watching your oops, social media flying out for you? Are your people watching your social media? Okay, and will they be watching your social media? Let's just pull one card over here. Will they be watching your social media? Your person's in a huff, <laughs> as we'd say, in a huff. Yeah, so we've got a page of ones as they will be. And let me just get one of these over here will they okay. right your person like i said is in a huff in a mard um as we say in england a little bit grumpy feeling quite pissed off over the situation so at this moment in time they're kind of spirit of saying cut off their nose despite their face so you've got the five of pentacles and you've also got the lesson and let's link these two energies in together this is called a blended reading when you use two decks so your person is feeling quite alone quite isolated feeling a little bit hurt over the situation and spirit are saying that your person is holding a grudge so whatever's happened to, between you both what regardless of where you are and your circumstances your person is sheltering sheltering sorry sheltering and holding a little bit of a grudge so the sheltering energy that's coming up over here is the hermit so your person is retreating avoiding <clears throat> pure avoidance behavior happening here and totally ignoring the situation they should theoretically be doing some soul searching delving into the dark nights of the soul but really they are in this kind of avoidance energy at this moment in time um they're feeling spirit saying quite barren as in um they haven't got what they want in their life and they're feeling quite 
yeah, like again, feeling quite sorry for themselves, every, everything that's gone on. And they're taking it out a little bit on you. Now, when we've got the lesson card over here, this is suggesting, if we look at the picture, that there is this watching, okay? There is this watching on social media. And um, there is a pointing and there is this, this construction that comes from that. So at the moment, they are in avoidance over the situation between the two of you and they are refusing to do some soul searching but equally at the same time there is this kind of I'm keeping an eye on you so if they've got you blocked or if they've got you I don't know ignored restricted I don't really know how it all works on especially on different platforms I, I'm not entirely sure um, if they've got that happening, it will be other people that are watching you. There's also potentially fake accounts going on here. OK, so avoiding. Yes, but keeping tabs on you equally. Yes. But is it them doing it? It's likely to come through other people. So other people are watching your social media and reporting back. And again, this is kind of where the lesson card comes in. You know, like in school, the teacher would be the one that would provide the information to you guys. That's what's happening. So it's other people providing information about what you are up to because your person is holding a grudge. Um, with that grudge energy, could be a water sign as well. Um, I don't normally work with astrology when it comes to uh, the collective readings um, just because there's so many different star signs out there but the grudge energy that water energy or very strong influence of the moon on your people too you might find that your people are a little bit like werewolves i don't know if you've ever noticed that but in the full moon they might be getting a little bit more mardy so where they are at the moment is reflecting retreating you've got the um scythe over the top with the hermit cutting the situation off avoiding again pure avoidance and um, now what happens when a person goes into hermit mode so someone, like I said, goes into this avoidance behaviour, they go within themselves and they start trying to find answers, seek the light. Now, your person's not quite there yet, but as they're progressing forward, um, they are going to get some inspiration. That's what the key's for. OK, so this this downtime from you will give them the answers that they need over the connection between the two of you. So reflecting, retreating, avoiding to reflecting that's where your cycle's going the next cards that you've got over here is ten of wands and dark haired woman now we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel um it reads private readings it works with your energy and your person's energy so it is then but for collective readings it isn't so this dark haired woman will take this as a dark haired energy it could be you could be them the dark haired energy around you both and burdened by it okay so this person is either you or a digital person and if you're like well we're both blonde don't overly worry about it again working on the collective energy between you so your person is very burdened by the situation with you at this moment in time um and if you look in the background over here you have this little boy and this is again the same energy of watching you but watching you from afar watching you from a distance okay so yes they are watching you but from a further part they can see with this lady carrying the baby they can see that all the dreams and hopes and ideas and aspirations are within you but they're just not ready to let go of that grudge at this moment where it's going so what will happen you've got your page of wands over here so this is communication coming in it's going to come from a pace of wisdom and peace okay so communication coming in definitely watching social media i do feel at this page of wands energy you might actually feel um some of you guys will end up at parties some of you guys will end up seeing your person face to face with it being a ones energy um but actually there is a, a, a spirit saying there is this this intellect energy coming forward which would suggest internet okay so mind energy intellect internet it all kind of links in together I, I won't bother explaining it to you but yeah um so you'll find that your person will reach out to you they will communicate with you um and again it comes from a space of wisdom and peace so when they do talk to you or they do reach out and they do say hey well, how's it going what's happening you might find that they are going to try and really irritate you and take the moral high ground and be like well you know this happened and that happened and this is what it is it is what it is if they do that just give them a bit of space let them get on with it because they'll come bouncing back and be like hey sorry i didn't actually mean that and um, it's a way of protecting themselves so when they do reach out to you again you might find that they're a little bit blase overall but the fact that they reached out just shows 
a thousand words, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, at the moment, avoiding watching you, <laughs> avoiding watching you, but watching you from afar, getting other people to do it, where it's going. Once your person's had this reflection time, they will be back in touch with you if you guys are not in contact um, and they will be watching your social media more then. They'll be ready. They'll be ready to see what you're up to. And that, my loves, is deck number two. Um, have a totally blessed week. I will see you soon. Lots of love.